Hey there y'all, it's me, Coco Gal, and for today's video, did you guys notice something different? <laughs> um, did you notice that I'm not wearing a wig or a cowboy hat and that I am in fact wearing trip jeans from Hot Topic? They're not jeans, I don't know what they're called, but yes, I do look like a middle schooler. <laughs> Um, who went on a really cool shopping trip with her mom, um, which I did, by the way. I was that middle schooler. My mom was that sportive mom who would take me to Hot Topic. But anyways, um, what you're probably noticing is the quite immaculate crispiness of my video and maybe even my sound quality. And that's because I hit 10,000 followers on TikTok. <laughs> Let me say it again. <laughs> like, not just for you, just for me. I hit 10,000 followers on TikTok. My God, like, I was feeling so bad during this pandemic, accomplishing nothing. I don't have a six pack. I was supposed to get one, but instead I have 10,000 followers on TikTok, which is like, you know, arguably even better because um, the internet is forever. Physical fitness is not. <laughs> um, but yes, I hit 10,000 followers on TikTok. I'm so excited about it. And um, I still can't believe it. I still find it so amazing. And uh, because my partner is a wonderful supportive man that he is, was all like, congratulations, here is this camera that you've been looking at for a while now. And I'm just all like, you got me a camera. <laughs> so I'm so excited. Um, I don't, I'm not like a huge camera collector or anything like that. So um, this is the Sony ZV-1 if you're interested. And I'm just, this is my first time using it. So I'm very, very excited how this video is gonna look. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah, yes, I hit I hit 10,000 followers on TikTok and, and I'm here now <laughs> um, on YouTube. And this is the second video of November because I realized I miss October. So I'm making up for that. But um, I would like to extend the gift that I was given for hitting 10,000 to the rest of my TikTok people by doing a giveaway. However, I have a lot of things going on right now, so I can't do a giveaway right in this like moment, but please look forward to December because definitely in that video, I will be announcing a giveaway. <laughs> um, but yeah, so for today's video, I will be talking about my skincare routine and just other skincare tidbits that I'd like to share. Not skincare, but just, you know, other self-care things. <laughs> but yeah, uh, let's get into it. Come on! So um, I've been told I have really good skin. Okay, like not not, not to brag, but I, I've been I've been told that, uh, especially when I reveal to people that I don't wear foundation. <laughs> They're just like, what? <laughs> My best friend gets like, I remember when she found that out, she got like was kind of mad. She's like, what? you don't wear foundation? I'm so jealous. <laughs> but um, to prove that, I'm going to wipe this. You know, I'm gonna do a magic trick. Basically, I'm like the OxyClean guy. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna wipe my forehead with this mystical product and do it over here also. You know, just, you know, to prove to you the magic wonders of my products. You know, I'm not wearing any foundation. Um, the only face makeup I'm wearing is my contour. And usually for my Gyaru makeup, I wear light contour. Sometimes I even no contour because Gyaru makeup is from the 2000s and they didn't have face contouring in that time. Uh, <laughs> but then I wear blush and of course I have my nose contour, but today I'm just wearing highlight. But yes, um, only highlight and only my contour. Just, you know, I feel like that's in the spirit because I'm sharing my skincare things. So I just said I'm gonna go in chronological order, starting from the morning. I just wash my face with water. I don't use any products on my face in the morning because I do most of my skincare at night. Uh, and then I put lotion on right away, which is the Cetaphil Face Moisturizing Lotion. I've always used Cetaphil. In addition to having oily skin, I also have sensitive skin. So I love Cetaphil products. And then the only other thing I use in the morning is this Natural Scar Cream Sensitive Skin Formula, which I got from Amazon. And to be completely transparent, I know basically nothing about skincare. All of these products, besides a few of them, have just been recommended by my best friend. Like literally, when I met her in college, maybe a, maybe a year after, she asked me what my skincare routine was. And I'm like, what is that? And she's not like, what? And then she just shoves all these products at me and just recommends me things. And then I just get whatever she tells me to get because I trust her with my life. She's my best friend. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is, 
kind of the only one I did research on. And by research, I mean I looked at the best-selling scar removal cream on Amazon, which was this. And I do believe it's working because I do have acne scars on my on my chin. I, I do have the tendency to pick up my acne scars. And I also get into fights with my little toaster oven. So I have a lot of <laughs> scars on my arm too. And they seem to be disappearing at the same rate even though I got them at different times. So I believe that's evidence enough that this is pretty, pretty darn good of a product. Uh, let's see here. And then let's get into my night routine right away because that's all I do. So I'm gonna talk about things that I use every single day and also things I only use once in a while or once a week or things like that. So the first thing I do is that's when I use my Cetaphil Daily Cleanser. This is what I've always been using and it's for sensitive skin. And I just, I, I like it. I, don't, I think everyone likes Cetaphil. I don't think there's anything you could possibly say that's bad about Cetaphil daily cleanser. I think everyone uses it. And then I use this Beauty Water by Sun & Park. It is a toner. Again, okay, I don't really know what I'm talking about because this is all just things recommended to me by my best friend. It's supposed to remove the dirt and um, just kind of exfoliate your face and moisturize the skin at once. And I just like it because Sometimes, you know, you can't scrub all the dirt off your face. So I really believe that having a toner or something to help remove more dirt off your face at night is really good. Especially because I only use, like I told you, I only use water to wash my face. I have oily skin and I'd like, I think I have oily skin. Therefore, if there's bits flying around, it'll get stuck to my face, right? I don't know. That's how I think it works. Um, and then after the toner, I let that sit in my face for 10 minutes before I get into my serum which is this Claire's Freshly Juiced Vitamin Drop. It is pure vitamin C and other extracts. It's supposed to be for um, even skin tonage and things like that. And again, if you have like scars on your face, and I have I have quite a few, a bit like a little acne scars, you know, on my face. So I use two drops of this and I mix it in with my Cetaphil lotion because that's what, what that's what's recommended for sensitive skin. And also then I could spread it throughout my entire face. And let's see, and then what else do I use every single day? That's that's about it for my every single day. Those are all the products I use. And the next things I'm gonna start introducing are things I just use once in a while. And this is Bio Peel Advanced Treatment Gauze Peeling Lemon Neogen Dermatology Exfoliating Pads. So before this, I was using the Cure gel for your face to exfoliate and I really enjoyed that because I like I like seeing all the bits and it was gross however it was just a hassle for me to use because it was just so messy I get everything like I get this thing so wet and also the the pump would get gunked up because I only used it so often and I only exfoliate once a week and with cure because it was so messy I really didn't like using it so it would just get so gunked up because the product would get all dry and things so I really didn't like using that and when I got to the end of the bottle it was really hard to get the rest of the product out so this is what I've been using and I, I think it works really good uh, I, I only have blackheads like right here in my little nose crease so that's kind of usually where I like to exfoliate deeply but yeah this is all I use just once a week and then the next thing that's just once in a while is this Intensive Firming Solution Collagen Power Firming Eye Cream by Mizon or Mizon. And I'm not, you know, I don't feel like I need to use eye cream, but I do rub my eyes a lot, either from just being itchy or from crying. <laughs> So um, I'm concerned in the future that I'll have wrinkles. So I just use this every once in a while. Like if my eyes feel especially dry, that's when I use it. I don't even use it once a week. I just use it whenever I feel like it, honestly. Um, but I would say, yeah, maybe once a week. I don't use a lot of product because I, I watched this video of this girl and she was explaining why she doesn't use eye creams and it's because it makes your eyes more puffy in the morning because there's liquid, like water in them. And the water makes your eyes puffy. That's why your eyes become puffy after you cry. Who knew? Um, but yeah, so there's that. And then for my makeup remover, I just use Cetaphil. Again, I Cetaphil, and I just like having matching products. Um, and I didn't learn until my friend told me, because she watched me remove my eye makeup when we were on FaceTime, that apparently you're supposed to just, like let your thing soak with the, with the liquid and then just dab it on your eye and just let it soak into your eye makeup and stuff like that and then you gently wipe it off you don't keep wiping it off which is what I was doing which is wrong apparently 
And then let's see here. The other things I use less often, or no, this is an everyday thing actually. This is just a miscellaneous. I don't know if anyone cares, but I use Vaseline, <laughs> uh, just regular lotion. I like the aloe one because I like the smell of aloe vera and aloe vera is like the super plant of life, honestly. Um, I didn't learn until recently that I should be lotioning my whole body, like my tummy and like my back and everything, because I only lotion my arms and my legs and my feet. And I asked my best friend, I'm like, do you lotion your whole body? Just I just thought about it because I was feeling itchy because of the cold weather. And she's like, yeah, you don't? And I'm like, oh, I didn't know I was supposed to. <laughs> like a lot of things I don't know, apparently. Um, and then I like to use, again, aloe vera, the wonderful, wonderful plant that we have been graced with. I have aloe vera gel, just always on hand. I use it for my scalp, just whenever to help my hair grow faster. Uh, my hair grows pretty fast on its own, honestly, but I just, I don't know. Maybe I just like sometimes some things I have might genuinely just be placebo things, but it does genuinely feel good. And I use it for other things too. I use it for whenever my skin like areas or patches feel really irritated. I use it for my pets because um, they, uh, especially during the summer, they're allergic to something and their feet get all itchy. So there's that. And the very last thing is the cuticle oil. Um, this is or really O'Reilly's, <laughs> Orly, whatever cuticle oil, and yeah, I only use it for when my nails feel really brittle. And it's not that it's going to make your brittle nails not brittle. It's just to encourage new nail growth and to make sure that new new nails that are growing in have really good oils and are healthy as they're coming in. So to be a little bit more specific about that is. I use gel nail polish and I buff my nails and I file them and sometimes I over file them and I just feel self-conscious and that they're going to break. And this doesn't fix that. However, if my nails do break, my new nails coming in are going to be stronger and healthier because I was using cuticle oil. But once again, I don't, this is another product I don't use all the time, but it just makes me feel safe and secure to have it and as an option. But. That's basically it when it comes to skincare. I don't really, you know, I, I use random body exfoliating things because my, I feel like only my face skin is sensitive, the rest of my body isn't. Um, but yeah, that's basically it I do for skincare. Um, I try to do a face mask once a week. Um, I, a lot of my friends are into skincare, so I get a lot of face masks as gifts. And um, that's basically it. And also my, my partner knows I like face masks once a week but it's a bit difficult for that because I have to sit for like 20 minutes and then I want to like watch a movie with my family or things like that. Okay, those things get in the way but always make time like honestly again just like what I said with my nails uh, some things are just genetics I might just you know if I stop using these products maybe my skin would still look nice but something that applies to everyone is aging okay so this stuff is going to help to make sure my my skin stays healthy in the future as well. My skin is like everyone's skin is healthy or should be healthy when they're young. Of course, some people have their own like dermatol like just their own issues with their skin, but it should be healthy because you're young. It should bounce back. You don't need eye wrinkling cream because your your body is still producing collagen. However, these products are just pre preemptive measures for the future, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys found this informative. Let me know if there's any recommendations you think I should use. Like again, especially the skin exfoliating thing, that's the biggest thing I'm open to changing and trying out new stuff. So yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll see you next month or on TikTok. <laughs> Bye.